Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warframe. Today we're taking out the uh, XM800T. My favourite tank to be added to Early Access 5 and my god this thing is fun to play. I love it. I absolutely adore this thing. The first thing that I thought of on Planet was it's, it's just like the looks isn't it? It's a cute, powerful, fast, tiny light round. It's absolutely, it's just so much fun. Look at this. The 20mm cannon. It just destroys face. And oh my god, this woman in PVE just talking over everyone. The 20 mil is so good. It's 75 penetration, about 25 average damage, with 300 rounds per minute. There's a 0 0.3 camo rating on this tank, and it is tiny. It's the, it's such a small tank. It's really fast, something like 90 kph maximum speed. It's maybe even more. Its acceleration is phenomenal. The only problem I have with this tank is its hull traverse speed is really bad. Oh, look, AMX 10P. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, save the M41 with the Bulldog and absolutely obliterate him. We're already on three kills. I love this tank, by the way. I love it a lot. And this is where we get in a little bit of pick. Oh, BMP1. Okay, I can't go through there. Shoot the BMP a little bit. I'm like, okay, run. Oh, God. Rattle. Jesus. Crash into that. And I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 no. BMP 73mm heat gun. Ow. That's painful. 233 HP left. Right. These are very fast paced. The PvE missions in the XM800 are the fastest paced games you're going to get anywhere. This is an easy one just simply because I just finished up doing the initiation training and I just thought stuff it I'm gonna play some PvE I played loads of PvP there we go fourth fifth kill sorry fly through Abbott I love the Abbott favorite artillery of the game fly up round behind him there's so much shooting at me right now I'm like oh my god kill the Abbott that's the map boundary oh no 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 reload 5.88 second reload on 45 round clips that's fine for me. When you do 300 rounds a minute, you can expend the ammo fast and you just keep the rounds going. AMX 10P Pack 90 has disappeared. M113 over there. Unleash hell into the M113. He's dead. Okay, Pack 90 spotted there. We're not going to go on a frontal assault against the Pack 90. That 90 more gun he's got is a, a fairly strong gun. And I don't think I want to take him on. There's a guy behind. Okay, we're not going to go for him. Come round and ram into something else again because the, the hull traverse speed's a bit slow. And we're going to go hunting this 10P Pack 90. There he is. Oh, oh. Here he is. And oh, he misses. Okay, that's his, his fate sealed. Come around behind him and finish him off like that. What's that? Eight kills now? Fantastic. Eight kills in the space of what? A few minutes? Not much. Not bad at all. There's another Pack 90. We'll go in and finish him off. But turns out Scorpion beat us to him. Here's his dead wreck. We ram into the dead wreck. Good job, me. And we'll pass straight past. But look in the chat. Look in the um, tab window. In any second now. Look at this. Look at this. And look at that. What's that? T-54 destroy T-54. T-54 destroy T-54. I want to go and check it out. Okay, then. So two T-54s spawned on top of each other. What? I think PvE is a little bit buggy still, but... Well, i got to take a screenshot of this, guys. This is going to have to be my thumbnail. Thank you, game. Thank you. Look at this. What is this? It's how tanks are made. This is how tanks are made in PvE. We found it. And we'll just sort of carry on from there. PvE really doesn't last very long in this tank at all. The low tier. You just go... Row, row, gunning everything down with your 20mm A10 Warthog Gatling gun anti-tank cannon thing. It destroys everything. It's set T62s. T62s are a bit more difficult to knock out with a 20mm. But you can do it. You can do it. And we'll just come back straight through where this 10P was dead. Come back. Oh, I rammed him again. Good job. You can sort of see here that the hull traverse with the MX, the XM800T is not the best. But the tank is amazing. I love this little tank. I love it. I love it so much. I wish I could have one in real life. Look at that. It's just flashing at us. Wait. But it is it's a very, very capable tank. I guess all you guys have played it so far. All of you have played it. It's a tier 3. It's the first recon vehicle in Wolfie's line. You can't not play it unless you purposely avoid that line. I love it. The X-800T ARSV. It's the best. 
I, I'm going to get this tank when the game goes live. I'm just going to play it. I've got like a 68% win rate in this thing. It's just so much fun. I've got more games to come of it as well eventually. T80 gameplay, swing fire, all sorts of stuff. I managed to... I'm not selling it. You were, why would you sell a little puppy like the XM800T? Why would you sell it? It's so cute. I could sit there and just hug it. It's tiny. It's the smallest little tank in the game. It's so much fun, though. Oh, my God. I've got so many games. You, you saw my Gotta Go Fast where I just charged through the enemy's lines and just blew the artillery up. Yeah, I've done that, like, 40,000 times. So you just drive around until they get an opening and kill their artillery. And look at that. 3,000 damage, 15 enemies spotted, 8 kills. That's fine by me to do that sort of stuff. So, guys... Tell me what you think of the X-Man t What's your stories? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I'd like to hear from the comments in the section, the comments section below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.